Happy Thursday, guys. We have our chick video for today. Um, we are on day 10. So we're going to take a look at what's going on in the egg today. So there's a lot going on in the egg today. Um, if you were to look inside the egg, which we clearly can't do, um, you would see that the eyes and the beak are a little more obvious, so we can see them a little better now. Um, and they're both really big for their body. And one cool thing that they're starting to develop now is what they call the flight feathers. So even when they first come out of the eggs, if you look at them, they have all this down on their bodies, but you can kind of see their flight feathers, which are already on both of their wings. And as you can see, this chick is only like four days old. So even when they're really, really little, you can see their flight feathers. Um, so if we go down, this is what it would look like. This is a drawing of the egg. Um, as you can see, the egg cell is pretty big now. Um, the comb is coming in at the top of the head. The beak is getting harder, and the egg tooth is there as well. And then the flight feathers will start to appear on their wings. Um, so if we candled the egg right now, this is what it would look like. You can still see the blood vessels. And um, it'd be a little bit harder to see the defined parts of the chick when you candled it. Um, but you can see the embryo is on the dark, this little dark spot on the side of the egg in this video. And here is one with a little bit of contrast colors. You can see the blood vessels a lot better. And again, the embryo is the dark shadow on this side of the egg. So, um, we could candle these eggs today. Um, I'm having a little technical difficulties trying to go back and forth between my iPhone and my new computer. So I'll work on that and hopefully by this weekend I'll be able to figure out how to go back and forth and I'll show you a video of our eggs and I'll try to candle some eggs for you guys as well. Um, but <clears throat> you'd be able to see the eggs and see where they're developing. Um, so like again, like I said, we'll try to do that this weekend. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out, if we were in class, we would be candling the eggs and I'd be holding them and you guys would be watching me hold them. But bacteria, if your hands aren't clean, then bacteria can get on the eggs and it can go into the egg and it could hurt the chicks. So with everything going on and us being out of school, you still need to wash your hands really, really well. I've had to wash my hands a whole lot with these chicks and you guys know that I have my own chicks too and we've had to make sure our hands stay really clean so keep your hands clean while you're at home. Um, so today what I want you to do and I'm gonna leave it on this picture of the chicks is I want you to draw a picture of a chick or a chicken. These are some good examples of some little chicks down here and of chickens and I want you to label the eyes, the beak, the legs, the feet, and the wings. Okay, so that's five things. I'll do it again. The eyes, the legs, the feet, the beak, and the wings. So that's your job for your science lesson today is to draw a picture on a piece of paper and label those five things on your chick. I hope you guys have a great Thursday. It is beautiful outside. Go get some fresh air. And I will have another chick video for you tomorrow. And I will work on getting um, some video of our eggs and some kindling of our eggs. So I'm going to take some time this afternoon and um, talk to Miss Thompson and see if she can help me um, troubleshoot with some of my um, videoing issues. And hopefully I'll have that to you by next week. All right. Have a great day.